Hi, welcome back to adventurebikethroup.com. I'm Francois and in this video we're going to chat about the five major upgrades to the 2022 Honda CB500X. So the first upgrade was to the power. Now they didn't change the engine. Uh, the engine already delivers the maximum power uh, 47 horsepower that's allowed for the A2 license type in Europe. So they didn't increase the power, but they did remap the fuel injection for more low end grunt. And that means it's supposed to be more rideable, especially for beginner riders and for off road riding. Number two, the suspension. Now, this is probably the biggest upgrade. The previous model, the 2021 and older models, had normal traditional telescopic forks. I think the only adjustment was the preload. Now, in 2022, they have that golden shower, separate function, big piston, upside down forks. Now, these new forks have the presser separation damper in the one leg and the spring mechanism in the other. And what this is supposed to do on these 41 millimeter big piston forks is to improve, improve the reaction and ride quality um, and that is according to the press release we'll have to see when we get the bike uh, for a test ride and then the five stage preload adjustable rear shock has been adjusted to match the upgraded front fork number three the brakes in the front they replaced the old 310 millimeter single disc with dual 296 millimeter discs uh, that is actually mounted and each have two pot uh, or two piston calipers so that will improve the braking considerably obviously with ABS as standard. Number four they fitted a lighter swing arm that's almost a kilogram lighter it has 18 percent more lateral flex and torsional stiffness um, it they fitted a radiator that is almost 100 grams lighter there's a lighter front wheel with narrower uh, spokes and now all of this was to reduce the weight but ironically the bike weighs almost eight pounds heavier depending on which weights you look at but it is slightly heavier than the old bike they did move the weight slightly forwards to help uh, the bike turn more easily along with that with that lighter front wheel that reduces the unsprung weight and then number five they fitted more powerful led headlamps and uh, led indicators in the front uh, and then there are some other small features that's not necessarily different from the old bikes. So let's have a quick look at those. It still has an LCD dash uh, with all the important information that you need. There's no TFC screen. A lot of the initial reviews from um, other journalists that I've seen is uh, they are complaining about the lack of a TFC screen and the lack of traction control and rider modes. Well, I think um, I'm very happy that it's not on the bike it would have increased the price and uh, you don't want that fancy TV screen if you're going to drop a new bike as a beginner rider or if you want to go off-road it's just something else that can break um, this LCD screen offers more than enough information it's easy to use so then the center stand is an optional extra that's a pity uh, they've got a six stage span adjustable brake lever that's quite nice um, there's a slipper clutch service intervals are 8,000 miles um, and Yes, that's about it for the major upgrades on the Honda CB500X. If you have ridden this bike or if you've owned any of the older CB500Xs, please comment below. Let me know what you like about the bike. Thank you for joining for this short little video and I'll see you next week. Cheers.